hello guys welcome to my channel and I'm gonna make this video just so I can explain to you guys how do I maximize my um, savings at Walgreens paying with points on the offers that are um, spent so much money get so many points so stick around and I will be back and let you guys know how to do this So I've been doing this guys for quite a while. I I think I master how to pay with points and earn points um, at this point. Um, I'm going to show you an old receipt where I had paid with points and I still receive my points so you can see what I'm talking about. It is definitely doable. Um, it sounds hard at first but once you guys understand the uh, technique you guys will be just fine doing it it's just about doing the math properly and changing your mindset here is a receipt where I there it is where I redeem 40,000 points and I still earn um, 37,000 points so and that re that transaction was over um, it was over a $90 transaction so it's definitely doable I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do. If I, if you don't understand anything, please leave me a question on the notes. I'll be happy to answer them. Like I said, I've been doing this this process for quite a while now, and I have received many of my points. In fact, my cashier was very excited yesterday when he noticed that I had over a hundred thousand points in my account. And the only reason I keep it that high is because I like to maximize my my shopping. And so when I uh, able to catch forty thousand points, which they value at fifty dollars, right there Walgreens is giving away ten dollars. So that's the reason why I keep it that high. So let me let me talk it over a little bit. So right now, there is. Let's talk about the offer that is right now. So if you guys want to give it a try, uh, by all means, please do. So right now there is an offer, and a lot of you guys have that perk where you spend twenty dollars and get seven thousand points. But there is also many offers within the store right now that spend twenty dollars get so many points, spend fifteen dollars and get so many points. So right now we have like the um, Dove that spend fifteen dollars on Dove, and I want to say it's spice. I don't remember what other product is included, but it spend fifteen dollars on Olay. I spend fifteen dollars on Olay and get five thousand points. The other one that is available right now is spent twenty dollars on cheek racers and get um, five thousand points. So if you combine those two offers or one of those offers with the seven thousand perk, it is an amazing, amazing deal, and you can still pay with points and get your points. The only thing that I want you to to do is change your mindset about how to get to the twenty dollar threshold. So we need to get to $20. How are we going to get to spend $20 and still um, cash points? You want to pay those $20 with manufactured coupons. That's right. You want to find offers, high value coupons to those offers that you can get to $20 on manufactured coupons. My Just to play a safe, if I'm using digital coupons for an offer, I like to take it all the way to 25 if it's a $20 offer in case the digital coupon does not um, work properly. So let's, let's do an example of what you can do right now at your store. Let's talk about the Chic deal. Um, you have the, the um, racers where you spend 20, get 5, uh, 5,000 points back. We do have a high value coupon for the chick, which is $5. Now, those coupons have been giving us trouble with the stores where one goes through and the second doesn't want to go through. Um, so be careful on that deal. I'm just giving you as an example. Find another offer if you feel more comfortable. But those coupons have a limit of two identical coupons per household per day. 
So you can definitely use two, two of the paper coupons. It worked for me perfectly because my I had an, a third coupon on my digital uh, card where I sent it to my card. And so when the cashier gave me the second coupon, because it's two identical coupons, the, the other coupon attached to the third one. So we're going to buy three of the chick racers and hopefully they, they all work out for you. You're going to utilize the two paper coupons and hopefully the $5 digital coupon will work as well. You're going to buy two of the shaving creams that are with the chick deal as well. And I, I don't remember what the name of it is. I think it's silk something. I don't remember quite quite right. And then you're going to buy three pizzas di giorno. And I'm just giving you samples. You can, you can switch it around once you understand how to do this. And then you buy one of the OxyClean um, um, laundry detergent. So what we're going to do is we're going to use for the shaving cream, we're going to use a dollar coupon on each. So that's $2. We're going to use the two $5 paper one, so that will be $12. And then if the digital one works, that will be $17. We're going to use the $6 um, coupon for DiGiorno. That will be $23. And then the OxyClean is $2 paper coupon. That will take us to the $25. So that right there, guys, we went to our threshold of a spending 20 because we are paying $25 worth of um, manufactured coupons and manufactured coupons are treated as cash at, digi uh, at any store but at Walgreens at this in this case. So if the coupon digital does not work on one of the um, one of the uh, racers, you are still at $20. So you still have met your threshold. So the price is going to be $8.99 for the first racer and $4.49 for the second, um, $8.99 for the third, and then we're going to have $3.39 for the shaving cream, $1.70 for the second shaving cream because it's buy one and get one 50% off, and then we're going to have $15 on pizza because it's two for five, and after that all of them are $5, and then you're going to have a $2.99 um, expense for the OxyClean. That will take our total to $45.55. Now, if all the coupons work properly, you get a discount $25. So your um, remaining balance would be $20.55. If the digital coupon does not work um, and you only have $20 on coupons, your remaining balance will be $25.55. So at that point, you want to cash 18,000 points, which is equivalent to $20. If um, you have all the coupons work properly, you're only going to owe 55, 55 cents plus tax. If they didn't work properly, the $5 one, you're going to owe $5.55. Um, and that will be your remaining balance, but you would get 12,000 points and you only cash 18,000 points. Did that make sense at all? Please leave me on the comments if you uh, understood my math. Um, if I can help you with anything, please let me know. This is a great saving, guys. And you can uh, mix and match all their offers. Um, if you buy, let's say you buy the uh, candy, you can use those um, in, in, those uh, to, to lower you out of pocket if the $5 didn't work properly. Um, you can mix and match as many offers as you want or the way I like to do it to maximize my savings, I want to get my transaction as high as possible that I can get to um, be able to cash 40,000 points like I say because automatically I get $10 as, as a gift from uh, Walgreens. But I still want to get as high as possible with the uh, offers that are giving points and um, the, the uh, manufacturer coupons so that way I can maximize my, my savings. So that is how you buy with points um, when there is a spent offer. I have done it many, many times, so I know it is doable. I have done it plenty of times, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next video. Bye-bye. Or oh, share this information with everybody who wants to save money because a lot, I, I just find out that a lot of people do not understand how to pay with points and earn points. So share it with your friends. Let's, let's all start saving a little bit more at Walgreens. Bye-bye, guys.